hello guys you welcome back on my channel today I'm going to give you a breakdown of my project abundant solar energy today can be harnessed all over the country solar has become one of the cheapest sources of green energy in the world it wasn't so some years back now technology has improved. It is now a key piece of the energy puzzle to focus on for the future. In Ghana, my country, it has about 5.5 peak sun hours. What this means is that apart from the northern region, you can harness good solar energy at all parts of the country. Let's look at my project configuration and some technical data you may need to do it yourself. As you can see, we have nine of these panels in series. And then we have four in parallel. Each of the panel, the brand is JA Solar. The maximum power is 325 watts. The VOC we call the open circuit voltage is 41.04 volt. And the maximum power current is 9.72 amps. Now for a VOC of 41.04 means that for nine pieces in series, you are going to get 369.36 volt. It is very little. So whilst you are constructing it, please take good safety precautions to make sure that you don't harm yourself. Nine in series for four in parallel means you have 36 panels over here. So 36 at 325 watt means that this installation has a total capacity of 11.7 kilowatt. For energy or peak sun hours of 5.5 in Ghana, you can harness energy of 11.7 times 5.5, which will give you about 64.35 kilowatt hours in a day. All right. This is the little bit I can give you about the solar panels. Let me take you to the inverter and then we see what is there. Welcome back. Forgive me about the mess up. As you can see, all these places are messed up. This setup is basically for test. And after the test, when all is commissioned properly, I'm going to make sure that all these hanging wires are properly um, placed to make it safe for operation. Thank you. This one is an EA Sun inverter. The brand is EA Sun. The power output is uh, 5 kilowatts. In fact, I had two, but a friend wanted one to have taken off the other one it's a hybrid pure sine wave inverter hybrid meaning it takes grid input a solar input and then the battery input for what you are seeing this breaker as you can see it's an energy breaker this connects to the grid and then the first breaker is the output from the inverter the second breaker is the grid input to the inverter the third breaker, as you can see over here, is a solar input. Okay. And then the fourth one is supposed to be battery input. Right now, I'm operating batteryless. I don't have battery yet. Okay. So let's see what the inverter is doing now. I'm not too sure I'm focusing very well. Now let's see what we have. Right now it is synchronized to the grid, so the grid voltage is 234, okay? I am going to isolate it from the grid for you to get 
uh, a view of what the inverter is giving by its own self without a grid. Oh, what a noise. Yes, it's part of it. It's going to reset itself and then get back on solar input only. Okay, now you can see it's on solar. It's rating, it's rated voltage is actually 230 volts on the dot. So let's go into it. We can see the voltage, uh, the frequency is 50 hertz. The, uh, the voltage out 230 AC. There is no battery connected, so the battery input is zero. And then, obviously, here you can see the PV output, just like we we we, we talked about by calculation. You see, the PV output is what you are seeing: 370 volt, 368 volt. Okay. So let's see something. I'm going to pick a pump, a submersible pump for it. So I've picked a submersible pump. Over here, you can find it that it's not been clear. You can see, sorry. Uh, You can see capacity, capacity utilization of 32%. Okay. And the rated power of this is about 1.63. However, the total uh, power that is going out is 1.74 kilowatts. All right. Yes, the hybrid units can be configured to run on off grid and then grid tied where grid tied means that it is connected to the grid as part of its operations so if the solar input is less than the energy required then it's going to top up the remaining energy through grid utilization okay if it is operating off grid entirely which means that we're going to take off the grid and then the connected load would only be powered from the solar energy right now uh, as we made calculations we had about 64 kilowatt hours of energy that is being generated in a day this energy is only useful when a load is connected to it because I do not have any storage at yet. Planning to get some storage so that within the day I can harness enough energy for my project. What I have in mind is um, three batteries to select from. This lead acid batteries, lithium iron phosphate batteries, we call the live PO4, and then lithium titanate oxide. LTO. Basically, my preference has been lithium titanate, but it's a bit expensive and difficult to assess. Why my preference? Because this one has got about 20,000 char charge cycles. What this means is that you can use it for over 54 years. Over 54 years before replacing it. It also have something we call the DOD or depth of discharge. About 80% as yet, research hasn't shown so much that if you go beyond 80%, it's going to have significant effect on it. So that is my preference. But I can move on to, uh, we can move on to Life PO4, which also has, is, is, is pretty good with almost the same uh, figures. But this time around, because of lower charge cycles, you can use it between 7 and 10 years with no problems at all. These two batteries are also good uh, because they present the least hazards you can think about. Okay, they present the least hazard you can. They are explosion free. Um, they don't give out fumes. They are very reliable. 
okay so those are recommended by a uh, lot of professionals including myself however looking at lead acid batteries one they have a DOD of 50 percent which means that if you store energy of about 1000 watt hours you only have access utilization of 500 watt hours you get it and um, it's seriously hazardous seriously hazardous I don't recommend it for for solar solar application the next also has to do with its uh, longevity it has the least charge cycles so you can use it mostly around two and two and a half years okay so it's expensive going by that and that is why I actually don't need it but anyway we continue with the presentation if you like my channel please give a thumbs up I'm going to give the next presentation on solar system pretty soon thank you and bye